Hey guys, it's me, Dave, back on my Dire Wolf uh, server play. Uh, we're going to take a little side step here. Um, I need to get rid of this uh, and that. From what we were working on before, uh, the reason for this is I need... Um, I, I need a... Uh, well, brain fart there. Uh, I need experience for enchanting and whatnot. Uh, it's something I can add into beep, beep, into the uh, the store as we go along as well. Uh, enchanted books and stuff like that. So uh, let's go with give it another one, two, three, bam, and a stick, a stick. This will do. Whatever. Um, so this is kind of like a little side, a little side step to what we were working on. Uh, what I'm going to do is I have a uh, skeleton spawner down there, which we need for the biofuel as well. So this is kind of part of that, but also part of something else. And instead of going and setting that up over there, I'm going to bring it up there, uh, right there specifically. So let's head up there. It's far enough away that it's not going to be affected by anything down here, so the spawn rate should be really good. And any other spawners that I find, I'll add to this. So, this is where I'm going to start it. Uh, for the time being, this is going to be uh, kind of like the main platform right there. And then let's go, let's get some water down here. Bing. down get that down bam uh, so this is where we are going to have it is going to be we'll probably set it up going this way so we'll make this like a this is nice being able to fly like this and we'll make this a little platform that has some stuff on it but this is going to be the main platform basically should use these clouds then it'll maybe I'll take some of the clouds and put them underneath it so it looks like a cloud um, what do you have here? One, two, three, four, let's go one more out, so that's an odd number. Um, so this will be the middle. I'm going to try and set, the, set this up as natural as possible. Uh, what I want to do is keep, uh, I want to, I basically want to set this up so that it, uh, will be a one-hit kill on these, on these guys so that I get their drops. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens there. So let me get the first part of this layout uh, going, and then um, I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the basic layout of it. Uh, the spawner is going to go right there. Uh, I'm going to stand right there. It's set up like um, I can put the link to the to the image in the description. But spawner will spawn, drop everything down in here. It'll be transported over here, and then it'll come up here. This will dump over and then fall right behind me where it'll be a one hit kill I'll put some stuff underneath here to capture all that stuff that's falling but uh, I'm going to speed this up purely because this is going to be a lot of building and I got a lot of a lot of stuff to go with so I will see you when it's done
Okay, so uh, I screwed up the dimensions of this a little bit. I'll, f I'll fix it later. But, um, cloud. Did I get it? I don't know where it went. Oh, it's stuck inside there. So this is going to be the general gist here. I didn't put this last piece on here because I need to put the signs in and the water. So let's go get some wood, which we have a ton of. Boop. that and we'll just bring it up with us um because i need chests up here anyway so i mean this isn't the most super super efficient setup in the entire world but um we're gonna give it a shot let me see what it does here so um so i can want this off for now Boop. okay let's get Bam, bam. Crafting benches everywhere. We got a ton of signs. Actually, let me count them up. I need for this main part one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Uh, very close. So down here, there's going to be one right there on the ground, and also right here, because this water is going to be pushing them that way, so then we go up from here, and we go every other. actually be lined up with where I'm standing. Yep, perfect. So we'll go all the way up. And I'll put the... I'll probably have to go get more buckets just so I don't have to keep going back every time I put two water down. That'd be annoying. Um, here we go. Oh yeah, I forgot that the, uh, the signs make... <laughs> forgot that the signs make... Um, three each when you make them. So I've got way more signs than necessary. No big deal. I need uh, I need a bunch inside of here anyway. So let's see here. What do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six. This is where the spawner is going to go. Um, I'll deal with this part in here. There's going to be water all over the top. It's going to be signs at this level. I think basically all the way the entirety of it. Um, and then they'll be pushing all down to this area. So what I might do is I might take out this, and take out this, have them drop through, push to the middle, and then down here I'll push them all to this middle. I'll have them drop down to like this level. And then they'll all push down to the middle and then go from there. So, uh, yeah. Let me get uh, the majority of this done. And then we'll finish out the episode with setting the spawner up and seeing how it works. Be right back. Okay, so this may not work the way I think it's going to work. But um, we got this set up. They fall down here. I may have to lower this a block. Because I think they'll jump up and drown a little bit. Once they go here, they all get siphoned in the middle, boom, then they go down on their journey. And all is good. So let's do this. Let's get oh, whoa, 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 whoa. this broken away. This is where the spawner's gonna go. And let's go get it. The fast way. Down. So we'll see how this turns out. It might not work. I don't know. Uh, it may have to alter it. If you know of a better design, or definitely point me in the right direction. And let's, let's grab you. Let's go backwards to it. Uh, there we go. Careful. Careful. And there we 
right now. Nope, no, 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 don't tweak out, don't tweak out. So annoying, moving spawners, give me, give me the block outline. There we go. So we'll do that, we'll break that, pop that, and we'll pop that, and then we'll head out of here. gonna be sitting right here. Let's become human again. And I didn't bring any didn't bring any um iron up. Definitely need iron. So leave this stuff up here in case we need it for future repairs or changes or anything. Hear those guys. So if I stand basically anywhere in this little area right here, I'm gonna go like this. Should be I mean I should be able to come over here and hit these guys, but you can hear them. Entities. So it sounds like there's a lot in there. But it also sounds like they're dying. Let's go take a look. Ah. Oh. They're just swimming. They're not falling through. How do I get these guys to fall through? Whoa, whoa, whoa. that to be on par with that. Because they, they, they have to fall through. It. So I'm going to have to lower that off. Eh, I'll work on that. Um, this guy did make it. Let's see if he's one punch. Oh yeah, sweet. So the ones, the ones that do make it are one punch, which is good. So we'll, I'll alter this uh, to lower that all one. I'll have to do like a little jut out here, but we'll get that going. Um, I'll work on that in the meantime, and single punch death. Nice. And we'll get that going. I thank you for tuning in on a little side episode, but a little bit that'll help me with um, getting my... Are there guys dying over here? They shouldn't be dying. Oh, they took damage. Um, it's going to help with my biofuel, so I'll get that going. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Dave from the Kodo. Like always, good luck and have fun.